Let's take a look at how to use the graphing calculator by working through an example problem. Say we are asked to use the graphing calculator in Alex to find the vertex and x-intercepts for the quadratic function f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 and round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. First, we will need to graph the function f of x. To do this, we will click on the y equals button Enter 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 and click on graph. We can see that the graph is a parabola that opens up. This tells us that the vertex is going to be the lowest point on the graph. To find the vertex on the graph, we will first estimate the point where it lies. It looks like the x value of the vertex lies somewhere between negative 1 and positive 1. Using this information, we will now click on the button labeled extrema, enter the left bound x equals negative 1 and the right bound x equals 1. Next, we will click on minimum. We can see here that it tells us that the vertex is located at 0.33 comma negative 3.33. Remember, we were asked to round to the nearest hundredth. We found our vertex at 0 0.33 comma negative 3.33. Next, we will find the x-intercept or intercepts. By looking at the graph, we can see that the parabola crosses the x-axis in two places, meaning that there are two x-intercepts. The leftmost x-intercept appears to lie between negative 2 and 0. We will use this estimation to find the exact value in the steps as follows. First, we will click on calculator and return to the main screen. Next, we will click the button labeled 0. Enter the left bound of negative 2 and the right bound of 0. Next, we will click 0. This finds that the leftmost x-intercept is negative 0 0.720, so on and so forth, and which when rounded to the nearest hundredth gets us negative 0 0.72. Looking back at the graph, we can see that the rightmost x-intercept lies somewhere between the x values of 0 and 2. So to find the exact value of this x-intercept, we will first click on the button labeled 0, then enter our left bound of 0 and our right bound of 2. Finally, we will click this button labeled 0. This calculates that the rightmost x-intercept is 1.38742589, which, when rounded to the nearest hundredth, gets us 1.38742589. Our final answer for this problem would be the vertex of 0 0.33, negative 3.33 and the x-intercepts of negative 0 0.72 and 1.39. A couple more functions this calculator is capable of is finding the intersect between two curves and listing the points in a table. We can access these functions by first graphing another function, say f of x equals x. Remember, we can graph a function with the following steps. First, we click on the y equals button. This time, we'll enter our function into the y2 box. y2 equals x. Finally, we will click graph. Now that we have both of our functions graphed, we can look at the graph and see that the intersection of the two functions lies between the x values of positive 1 and positive 2. Now we can calculate exactly where they intersect on this rightmost intersection with the following steps. First, we will click this button labeled Intersect. Then we will select Y1 for the first curve and Y2 for the second curve. Finally, we will enter our guess point, which is the X value that we estimate that the two graphs intersect at. For this problem, we'll use 1.5. Finally, we will hit this button labeled Intersect. This tells us that these two graphs intersect at the point 1.618, 1.618. We can repeat these same steps entering a different guess point to evaluate for the leftmost intersection point. If we click this button here labeled Table, 
the calculator will generate a list of corresponding x and y values for the two functions that we graphed. This explains just a few of the buttons on the Alex graphing calculator, but these are the most commonly used buttons, so knowledge on how to properly utilize these functions of the graphing calculator will definitely be useful when you're working through Alex. Best of luck with the course!